Okay, so how do you find the right financial advisor? Let's talk about it right now. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Migs and I'm the founder of Prime Pinoy Community. My vision, my goal when I founded that community is to really make people Prime Pinoy. And if you're gonna ask me, ano bang ibig sabihin Migs ng Prime Pinoy? That means you are a top of mind, best in class, and mission-driven professional. Maganda ba yun? Therefore, if ikaw gusto mo yan, gusto mo maging top of mind, best in class, and mission-driven, panoorin mo ito. Bakit? Kasi ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa pera. Yes! <laughs> pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa pera, pag-uusapan natin ang uh, being a financial advisor, ano nga ba yung karakteristik ng isang financial advisor and bakit to importante para sa'yo. Again, I'm not asking you to be one. Although, kung gusto mo yan, kung trip mo yan, if, if, if that's something that will, you know, uh, work for you, then go ahead, sure. But, uh, what I'm simply saying here dito sa video na to, ang pag-uusapan natin is, uh, bakit nga ba to importante sa'yo at ano nga ba yung kailangan mong tignan pagdating sa paghahanap ng sarili mong financial advisor. Alright? And number one, no, uh, bakit nga ba importante ang pagkakaroon ng isang financial advisor? Because you know, whenever I do my videos, my content on TikTok, on you know, on Facebook, whenever people ask me, ang lagi nilang paminsan mga tanong sa akin are certain things. Ano-ano ito? Number one, uh, ano, ano po ba yung tamang investment? Okay, maybe tanong mo rin yan. Number two, uh, paano nga ba magnegosyo? Or paano nga ba mag-invest sa negosyo? Number three, paano nga ba mag-invest regardless of your age? Alright? And number four, maybe is uh, what insurance company is the best? And number five, uh, ano nga ba yung company na pwedeng pagkatiwalaan, pwedeng pag-investan? Okay? And if ikaw din, tanong mo rin yan, ang usually na sinasagot ko dito, no? if you can actually remember. Okay, ang usually na sinasagot ko dito is it actually depends on your financial advisor. Kung naalala mo, yan yung lagi nating sinasabi. It actually depends on your financial planner. You know, especially when we're talking about mutual funds, UITF, the stock market, when we're talking about fund management, when we're talking about insurances, usually pare-pareho lang naman yung products niyan in the market right now. Pero saan nagkakaroon ng difference? Nagkakaroon tayo ng difference depending on what? Your financial advisor. That's why it is equally important. Bakit? Because your financial advisor can actually sell products to you or they can do what their job role is. They can do what their role is, which is a financial advisor. They can give you advice that are right. They can give you advice that are proper. Or... Kung hindi magaling yung financial advisor mo para lang yang ahente binentahan ka lang yan. Yan yung sinasabi natin kaya siya importante. All right? And uh, gusto ko i-take note mo ito kasi ito ito yung mga feeling kong characteristics ng magaling na financial advisor na ayoko again, ang gusto ko dito kaya ako ginagawa tong video na to because I want you to invest and I want you to get advice from I want you to get your plans from a what? Reliable and expert financial planners or expert financial consultants or financial advisors. What you don't want is to be partnered with a financial advisor na hindi magaling. What you don't want is to be partnered with a financial advisor na hindi expert. What you don't want is you partner with a financial advisor na bebentahan ka lang, hindi ka bibigyan ng magandang what? Financial advice. All right. That's why it is actually equally, equally, equally important. All right. Let's start. Number one. Okay. Paano nga ba pagkaroon ng magandang financial advisor? Number one. You you need to look at the very first thing na kailangan mo maintindihan dito is you need to look at their track record. Okay. Ibig sabihin, ah, when I say track record, the best people that you want to get your advice from are the people who's not just teaching but who's actually practicing, who's not just preaching, but is actually walking their talk. 
Okay, that's why lagi kong sinasabi, it's always about the track record. Bakit? Kunyari, nag-partner ka sa financial advisor, meron siyang nirecommend na investment. Does this person have that investment that he or she is recommending? Does this person put his money or put her money where their mouth is? Kasi, kung hindi, parang mabibig kakaroon ka ngayon ng question mark. Tama ba? Napakinggan ko to? Uh, talaga bang naniniwala itong taong to? Kasi, uh, based on result, wala siyang, uh, hindi niya pinapractice or hindi siya nag-walk the talk. Okay? Number two, syempre kasama dyan is financial advisor, although it's somewhat, uh, we, we, yung mga starting, kaya kailangan yung pag nagsisimula yung mga financial advisors, they, they really must strive hard. Because again, kung naghihikaw sa buhay yung financial advisor mo, eh paano ka makikinig dyan? Anong ituturo niyan sa iyo kung siya mismo naghihikaw sa buhay? Kung siya mismo nagka, nagkakaroon ng problema sa pera? Okay? You want to look at their track record. Why numbers and result don't lie? Pwede tayo magkaroon ng mabulaklak na salita, pwede tayo magkaroon ng magaling magturo, but results don't lie. It has to be seen in their lifestyle. It has to be seen in their life. That's the best measure that this financial advisor is doing good. Very first thing is track record. Now, number two. Ano nga ba ang number two dito is uh, you need to look at the mindset of this financial advisor. Is this person, uh, when I look at mindset, the only mindset I want this person to have is growth mindset. Okay? Mindset, no? Uh, growth mindset. Bakit growth mindset? Is this person learning every year? Is this person investing on new education every year? Bakit? Because again, there are financial advice that for example is applicable and example is nag-work doon sa 1960s, 1970s, 1980s pero no longer applicable today. Okay? Napakarami nang nangyari. Of course, meron pa mga timeless principles. Meron pa mga uh, principles that stood the test of time. Pero meron din yung, you know, modern already. So, I want you to look at your financial advisors like that. Kasi kung hindi siya nag invest sa mga bagong kaalaman, hindi siya nag invest sa mga bagong na- natututunan, then baka mamaya yung tinuturo niya sa'yo is outdated already. Then baka mamaya yung ina-advise niya sa'yo is kailan pa. No? Hindi na updated, hindi na bago. So, you want to like, take a look into the second aspect which is their growth mindset. Are they learning every year? Are they growing every year? Do they have that passion and priority on growth and learning? Because if yes, then good job yan. Second checklist, good job yan. If not, uh, medyo kay, uh, mapapatanong ka. No? Uh, teka lang, mukhang hindi ako sure kung updated ba yung tinuturo sa akin, yung ina-advise sa akin, yung nire-recommend sa akin. Bakit? Because this person is not investing on their growth and learning. Alright? Number three, last but not the least, tapos na tayo sa, again sa hands, which is lifestyle, sa body, which is yung track record, sa mind, and of course, body, mind, and heart. I want you to look at the heart of this person based on not just the way they view you or the way they communicate with you or the way they treat you but the way they treat all people as well. Okay, I want you to take a look into how they treat all people. Okay, check mo. Okay, is this person um, purpose-driven? Is this person have a heart for service? Have a heart for, uh, you know, compassion and empathy for people or gusto niya pera-pera lang or gusto niya negosyo-negosyo lang or gusto niya kita-kita lang because again kahit na we're talking about investing we're talking about money it's really about the heart of this person first more than just money are we clear? I want you to look at their heart okay is their heart something na Uy, pwede kong pagkatiwalaan to because ito meron siyang puso para tumulong. Meron siyang puso to be genuine. Hindi lang sa akin kung hindi sa lahat ng taong nakakasalamuhan niya. Or ito, ano lang to ginagawa niya lang yung trabaho niya bilang trabaho. Wala siyang puso, hindi ko maramdaman yung puso. Kasi kung wala siyang puso, edi eh, wala din siyang puso sa'yo. 
you don't want to partner up with someone with an advisor or with a planner who don't have a heart for you. And how do you see it? How do you know that? By checking not just their treatment on you, kasi syempre baka may agenda na siya sa'yo, but the way they treat all people as well. The way they treat many people, even with those people na wala siyang agenda. Even with those people that this person has nothing to get from. Especially with those people. Kasi kapag yung puso niya is, uh, I'm not saying pure because lahat tayo imperfect, lahat tayo hindi okay, pero if yung puso niya is in the right place to help, to serve, then ganyan din yung magiging treatment niya sa'yo. Not just during the sale or not just during the recommendation, the advice, but even after it. Alright? So, iyan yung tatlong bagay na pwede mong makuha kung gusto mo malaman ano nga ba yung tama at sino nga ba yung tamang financial advisor. Again, the person that you're gonna be partnering with will dictate the a kind of financial life you will have. The person that you're gonna listen advice from will dictate the kind of financial life you have. That's why I want you to listen to the right people and not just to the people who's not expert, who's not authority, who don't have the heart, who don't have result, who don't have track record, who don't have growth mindset. Alright? I hope this adds value to you. This has been Migs Flores again. Again, for the past 12 minutes, marami ka sanang natutunan. Busog na busog sana. Alright? Have a wonderful day, everybody. I hope we all make our dreams happen. And I want you to inspire possibilities. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Migs Flores and I'm the founder of Prime Pinoy Community and this is our podcast. We believe that the only way to truly experience success, freedom, and significance is by being top of mind, best in class, and mission driven. And that is what this podcast is all about. I hope this episode adds value to you inspires possibilities in your heart and enjoy the rest of the show.